everybody. <laughs> right, Welcome to that? another episode, Training and C. The um, who was it that commented recently? It was like, "Hey, everybody, clap." Yeah, that that's, that's, <laughs> that's that's like, yeah, it's pretty bang on. You could make a collage of all of our videos, like the intro. It just be like ah. It'd just be different shirts. Yeah. Well, not even yeah, anymore. Almost, I've worn the same shirt. <laughs> I'm actually gonna wear this shirt for every video tonight. Maybe that's what we should do. Like, just have this is our season. Season well, three. Well, a lot of people this do that. Shirts. Yeah. Um. This is a Christmas shirt. Right. That's a Christmas shirt. It is. Actually, I bought it for myself. Yeah, but still. Whatever. No. Um. Okay. So we are talking about the um, <laughs> alumni. Whiskey series from JP Weisers. Yes. And this is our third bottle or our third video. It's actually bottle number two, but we're, it's it, third in the order we've done it. Right, yeah. Um, of six, which we've said before, we don't know who the other three are going to be. We've, we've speculated. Guesses, yeah. But uh, right now, we are talking about Lanny McDonald, the legendary Calgary Flame. So to be clear, yeah. the alumni series is all Canadian hockey players. Right. Yeah. Just like retired yeah. Canadian right. hockey players. Um, all stars, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so Lanny McDonald, I mean, I can tell you a little bit about him because... Please do. I... So... Rel distant relative to John A? Or... Based on the mustache, I'd say so. Oh, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so, when I was growing up, one of the first hockey games that I remember watching was the Stanley Cup Finals, and it was in 1989, and it was the Montreal Canadiens versus the Calgary Flames. Mm. And I ran upstairs to my mom, and I said, Mom, which team is closer to us? And she said, the Calgary Flames. So, that was enough for me to say, I'm a Calgary Flames fan. Of course. So, during my youth, I was actually a Calgary Flames fan, really? and they went on to win the Stanley Cup that year and beat the Montreal Canadiens. So, wow. I was like... Hey, Calgary's close to me. They're champions. I'll take them. Yeah. So screw Vancouver. Exactly. <laughs> I don't even know Vancouver had a team at that point. Yeah. So, um, but Lanny McDonald was like, he won the Stanley Cup and then walked away. He was like mic drop, like That's Stanley perfect. Cup. He was like, peace out. He had five hundred on the nose, career goals. Walked that's, away. That's perfect. Like, you can't go wrong after that, right? Storybook. Like, I... I Finish always, on top. You gotta always respect the, the dudes that do that. Yeah, the go out on top. You know? Yeah. Compared to someone like Brett Favre or something. <laughs> that's <laughs> football, but, you know. Favre? Yeah, Brett, Brett Favre. Even Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, true. God rest his soul. <laughs> <laughs> he, he held on a little too long. He did. Like, he went to a couple with, other teams. Yeah, and, he went to the Rangers. But in reality... He went to the Blues. What the f*** was that? Like, but... You know what? You're not in the alumni series, Gretzky. You're out. <laughs> but he was 99 and he retired in 99. That's kind of like... Is that what he was going for? That was your big know. thing? That I was guess. your big shtick? <laughs> yeah, like... I don't know. 99? Or that, yeah, it was like... like so you dragged your career out for four extra years, shitting the bed and screwing up all your stats? I was born in 81. I'm going to live till I'm 81. Dude, that's not bad. That's okay. Um, we haven't even opened the bottle Let's yet. get to it. All right. Uh, all right. So this has this handy dandy little... Uh, Here, I'll give you some oh, cool no. stats. The handy dandy little thing seems to be... Okay, never mind. I'm going to give you some interesting stats. The stats of the people want to know. <laughs> Lanny like McDonald. His middle name. Yeah. <laughs> Lanny Kravitz McDonald. <laughs> Number nine. We're not even drunk yet. No. Getting there. Uh, he was what did RW, you say? which I think is right wing. It is. And uh, he was six feet tall. You're a real sportsman. He was 185 pounds. Uh, you, you're absolutely right. 500 goals. But 506 assists. Oh. How many um, games played? Uh, one thousand one hundred and eleven. So he's almost one, a point, one, a, one, one. almost a point a game kind of guy. Yeah, that's cool. That's a big deal. Well, really, because it was a, th a thousand and six points. Yeah. In a thousand and eleven hundred eleven games. Almost a point a game. That's what I said. Yeah, right. Uh, he was born in Hannah, Alberta, Canada. There you go. So not only did you like him as a Calgary Flame, he was actually he was also an Albertan. Actually, an Albertan. Here we go. That's good. Yeah. Good pop. Good one, Lanny. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, did we even talk about the whiskey? It's nine years old, wheat forward, aged in uh, Canadian and virgin oak barrel. Virgin oak, okay. Uh, three grain whiskey, 40%, well rounded. 
Fuck, I am Tom Cruise. And uh, I think that's all. So it's really cool how much information they have right on the bottle. Love it, yeah. Which is cool. And we've also said one-time release. So these are never coming out again. So we've completely screwed up the value of these bottles by opening them. That's kind of the best. We've raised your bottle price. Yeah, we helped you out. Don't worry. Uh, but whatever. Whiskey's for drinking. We've always said that. We have a couple of bottles put aside, but it's really only to either just drink later. Like, we're going to still drink Yeah, we talked about, like, what kind of anniversaries do we want to open some of our special bottles but also like the only other thing we would do is like it'd be something we've already drank before yeah we know it's good yeah and we could possibly flip it to subsidize the channel because like we need to pay for this channel. by the way we do sell shirts <laughs> get your trendy and c shirts just go to the front of our youtube channel the uh, main page and uh click right over here yeah Okay, um, <laughs> speaking of which, yeah. we do basically buy all of our own whiskey. This is the first time ever yes. that a distiller has distillery sent has sent us bottles, and we're pretty happy about that. Yeah, it saved us whatever money these cost, but at the same time, hey. um, we're going to give you an honest review, but we thought we'd tell you that so that if you think we're not going to, then you can kind of like weigh that against whatever we tell you. Yeah. Okay, let's get right to it. Okay, so this one is the one that says that it is wheat forward. It is wheat forward, so it doesn't say 100% wheat. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. What does that remind me of? It's a very light nose. It kind of reminds me of Sweet. the corn one, but also it has an interesting cherry note to it and like a... What was the barrel? It was... Virgin. And Canadian. Aged in Canadian and virgin oak barrels. Huh. Oh, that's a good nose. I really like this nose. It's quite light. It almost actually... But it reminds has a of... little... There's this a whiny note on the, <laughs> the back of the nose palate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I do know what you're saying, but... But there is like a... You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the Wiser's 35-year-old. Ooh. Because the Wiser's 35 was high corn, but it wasn't just corn. Right. Because this one, you can smell the corn, but it has those other characteristics going on. The wheat is softening it. There's, some, really there's nice. some layers in there, for sure. Yes, this is an interesting one. I don't even know what... That it's What's cool so far about these is that they... It's not just a marketing gimmick. Yeah, they're distinctly Cause different. Because they're distinctly different, and if you like Wisers like we do, mm -hmm. um, this is actually showcasing a variety of the range. Variety, their range, and, yeah. and that they can actually produce quite a bit of different stuff. Because Gooderham and Warts is a multi grained whiskey, right? You have the kind of the regular um, JP Wisers range, which is like a heavy corn. And then you have like the lot forties, which are like hundred yeah. percent rye. This kind of touches that whole um, spectrum, that whole genre of like you know being in the. Um, this is maybe more Gooderham and Wartsy. This, <coughs> this one is more kind of like Wisery, and this one's lot forty. And, and I'm finding the more I kind of dig my nose into this, yeah. And I couldn't figure it out at first because it's almost like there's like a light airiness to it, but I feel like there's. Uh, a, a, like a nutty note to it. I can't figure out Ooh. exactly what the nut is, but it's definitely like a mm. like yeah. a husk of a almond or something. I was gonna like say that. almond because almonds almost have they can portray cherry and also kind of like a bit vanilla. -y too. Yeah, well, like that marzipan kind of thing. Yeah, without it being like like I personally fucking hate marzipan, mm. but. When it's done well in a whiskey as like yeah, a backdrop. Yeah, as a note. Yeah, then it's nice. Let's drink it. Okay, let's try the stuff. Mm. That's different. Mm. That's that's very different. It still mm. has the that wisery thing to it, but it's kind of like it's really soft. It falls off mid palate. All of a sudden, it kind of like vanishes because mm -hmm. the wheat kind of like rolls over your tongue, and then all of a sudden, it's like it just That's gets mild. All it like it's sweet, and then it's kind of like mild, and then you get a little bit of sizzle at the end. It's almost mm. like 
even before you completely swallow it, it does, it falls off a cliff. You know what I mean? It, that, yeah. that, yeah, it totally does. Like, it kind of just, it rolls in and then it rolls out, like, and it still has a finish to it, but it's not like, this is a drinker. Like, yeah. This is, this, <laughs> I, <laughs> I can see myself drinking it. Like, I believe the term is crushing. Yeah. We could you crush, crush it. it. This you is could, like, like, so sometimes this. people add water to their whiskey and this one, it would, would probably no. drown it out. Yeah, for sure. It would probably drown it out. But this is a crusher. But it's still like, like up front is bold flavors and then it kind of peers out. Well, it's just that it kind of like... Um, McDonald's out at the end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's like, um, it's like we said, it kind of is like, it hits you and then it just it instantly mellows. I wonder if that's what, super... what a Lanny McDonald style was. He's just mellow. Like he hit you. And then, then he's like, like okay. sorry, dude. I'm good. <laughs> it's, just, it's just really calming after that. Yeah. Anyway. My apologies. Um, I really like it though. I like it. So far, everything we've tried, we've tried all three now and... They are all different. I like all of them. Um, they are different compared to the rest of the Wiser's lineup, but you can see kind of where each version was coming from, like a Lot 40 or a, a good or Hammond and Maybe, or like that kind of thing. So what's your, since this is episode three of three and we're probably not going to do any other reviews on them because we're going to sit down with Dr. Don. Okay. Give me your order. Well, I think just purely in drinking order. Yeah. Well, what, I would, what else would you do? I, but like in not in order of me liking them. Okay. I'm just saying like if you're going to try them side by side, okay. I would tr start with this McDonald's. Okay. And then it's the lightest. Because it's light and it kind of falls off that cliff there. And then I would go to the Le Fleur. Yeah. And then finish off with the big, bold Wendell Clark. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's your liking it order? I think... Uh, the office, like, I like the uh, Clark the best. Yeah. And then I think the Le Fleur, even okay. though I'm not always a huge fan of the, the really forward corn content, yeah. but it's but it the has something finish. different. It the has, like, finish. a rummy kind of thing to it. The and then finish. this one probably lasts. And it's not that it's bad. It's just uh, and it's, it's just a little flat at the end. But my, my order would be the Wendell Clark, the Lanny McDonald, Mm. And then the Lafleur, mm. to me, because I like, um, like I like weeded bourbons just because of totally. how like mild and drinkable they are, and this kind of reminds me of that because it's just so it is mild. It's so and soft on your palate, like it just you crushability. Crushability factor is big in on this one. And the the other thing that's kind of interesting, it being uh, aged in Canadian and virgin oak barrels, mm. I was expecting this one to have a little bit more of a. Uh, Zing, like, uh, like a tartness, like yeah. almost a gluiness to yeah. it, but it, it doesn't seem to. But it's still quite good. So, the one thing that's interesting there is that we both chose the Wendell Clark mm. as the top one. Mm. So, I think that, um, that shines for sure. Ontario did well getting the Wendell Clark there because um, it just reminds us of Lot 40, and there's so many Lot 40 fans. And Ontario is a big, like, when you think of like the viewership that we have some of the most educated um viewers that we have and like connoisseurs and like just people that are enthusiasts yeah. are in ontario so mm -hmm. i think that they did well getting the um the lot 40 that's it's suiting it's totally, totally. okay so uh i think all in all yeah. a really good series and uh thanks again dr don for helping yeah. us out with trying some of these things so one last little sip here. Yeah. It's so definitely good. It's definitely okay. good. Well, All cheersies. Right. All right. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Subscribe, click like. We'll see you soon.